Hey everyone, I'm Heather. Welcome back to my week by week pregnancy journal. Check out the description area for a quick breakdown of this video if you just want to jump around to a certain topic or just see how my bump is progressing. So this video we're talking about week 19. I'm actually day one of week 20 so I'll let you know how the whole week 19 went, all my symptoms, cravings, things we did this week, and of course my bump update. So this week the baby's about the size of a mango, which is about that big. Somewhere around there. So six inches and 8.5 ounces, which is a little over a half of a pound. With development this week, the baby's arms and legs are now more proportional to its body, and his hair is sprouting on his head. The kidneys are still producing urine, and now the baby actually has this cheesy-like consistency of a covering all over its whole body that is basically water-resistant so that he doesn't come out looking like a wrinkly little raisin. It's, you know, because he's sitting in amniotic fluid the whole time but that's what protects them and helps them slide out <laughs> and they say sometimes if your baby comes early that whitish substance might still be on him when he, when he comes out so you have to wipe it off <laughs> you get that goo off my baby how am i feeling physically this week other than intermittent like stabbing back pains that almost cripple me at times pretty good <laughs> Symptoms this week, I have been experiencing indigestion that'll never stop, I feel like. Tums, still still take them occasionally. I haven't really taken them that much this week. And then also definitely a lot of congestion in my nose, and I've noticed more, you know, when you blow your nose, like, bloody boogers, and that's all part of it if you read into it, like, the, the constriction and dilation of your blood vessels and the increase in blood and, and all that, so I've definitely notice that and then when I do my saline spray and you know blow my nose I notice that it is like blood tinged but nothing to worry about supposedly so I'm not worried. It's not like an active bloody nose like dripping out of my nose thank god. Also this week I feel like I got really dehydrated at some point and I don't know how I let that happen. I try and drink my water, I keep up on my my water bottle that is you know 32 ounces. I try and drink three of them. At this point, I'm just trying to drink two of them, but I guess I fell off a little bit and my lips got really dry and like crusty and I could almost like exfoli exfoli all the skin off of them. Like that's what I felt like I needed to do. And then I, I noticed constipation coming back. So that's a bummer, but that probably has to do with my fluid intake. I'm hoping, but I did previously, I think a couple weeks ago, tell you that I changed my multivitamin and it does have iron in it. So it all could be coming into play, so we'll see how this works out. Other things I I experienced like, and I looked into you know other articles, and I and they said hunger pangs or pains or whatever, like whatever you want to call it. And I did experience that a couple days. I'm like, I just ate, but and I'm not hungry, but you feel this sharp pain in your stomach, like a like a turn, like a turning like like when you're extremely hungry but I, I actually wasn't really hungry but I felt that other thing is hip pain I said to my husband like why are my hips sore like and I was pointing like it was like deep like in my hip joints that I was sore and I was because I was like did we do something at the gym different and he said maybe your hips are growing so I don't know maybe possibly my hips are growing another thing that really kind of progressively got worse and I noticed it more this week was my back pain and I think I've talked about it in previous videos it's more on my right side of my back and it's just about this much of the right side of my back and it is a stabbing like shooting pain that doesn't really radiate down my leg or up my back or anywhere it's just really localized that area which had me thinking it was like a pinched nerve or something so um it got so bad that it was just like really interfering when when it would hit me and it it, it just it only lasts for like about a minute or so not even sometimes it's just a sharp pain and then you switch your light weight or like move a different way and it goes away but um, my husband said, you know what, maybe you really should like look into a chiropractor. And then we went to our OB visit this week, and I'll talk about that. And they actually referred somebody that was in the same building as my OB. So I called them on Friday because I was like fed up with it. I'm like, let me see if they can fit me in. 
she said no and then around you know the end of my work day called back and said she had a cancellation at five so she took me at five o'clock on a Friday squeezed me right in and it was amazing she started out really slow and not aggressive um, but by the end of it I still had the pain so she said okay well how do you feel about getting a little more aggressive and I said I'm totally fine with it so that's when she had me lay on my side positioned my leg up had me inhale and on the exhale cracked my back and I'm like that is exactly what I've been wanting to do for the last like two months but you know you're told not to really turn and crack and do that stuff by yourself so it's not something I could have ever or wanted to ever do by myself and the fact that she did that then I got up and walked a little bit and she said how does it feel now and I said well it went from about an eight or nine on the pain scale level ten being the worst down to about like a six or a seven so then she said okay lay back down she did the other side and it really cut my pain down in half to where it was like very bearable and then I guess what they do is they tell you to follow up and they'll see you multiple times a week so I go again to see her Tuesday so I went on Friday and I'm going to see her on again on Tuesday and I mean I'm just happy that there's an answer to this pain like I I didn't think that anything was gonna solve it and I it was just gonna be something that I dealt with another thought is I can't believe that everything is big enough to be really affecting my back like that I do have scoliosis I've said that before so she was explaining the way that my spine curves and the way that the tendons ligaments muscles like everything's pooling it's com it is compressing nerves in my back in that one area so yeah compressed nerves pinch nerves something like that that's what's going on I'm happy that I have an answer and a treatment and I'm looking forward to seeing what the next treatments and sessions bring to you know pain relief for me cravings this week eh, not really much like I really I have nothing for you so I've just been eating normal meals and having my occasional snacks in between and nothing really like craving wise how has my body changed this week? My waist and my underbelly have caught up to each other. So I've gained about three and a half inches in that whole midsection area. My waist is slowly disappearing. So getting, you know, used to that. I feel like I still have a waist, like kind of, but according to the inches, it's disappearing. So weight gain this week since becoming pregnant, it's a total of about eight pounds, eight or nine pounds somewhere around there. Also, I've definitely noticed an increase in my thighs. Not where I really want to see an increase in size, but whatever is happening and I'm making a tiny human, so it'll go away afterwards when I can, you know, increase my cardio to the point where I feel like, you know, will help that. But I am doing my squats and, you know, trying to keep that area under control but anywho and i definitely can say i do have that line on my like under my belly button down to like my pubic bone which they call the linea negra it's like the pregnancy line so that's definitely gotten darker and it's there it's it doesn't bother me actually like i kind of relate that to pregnancy so it's like yay Another pregnancy sign. How am I feeling emotionally this week? Definitely very sensitive. For example, when we were at the gym the other day, my husband must have said something. I took it very sensitively and... That's... Uh, that's... I didn't say something. What do you think I cried for? Because we were doing a workout and you just didn't want to do anything new. You called me lazy. I called you lazy because you didn't <laughs> yeah. want to do anything yeah. new. So, my husband called me lazy at the gym, and I started crying. <laughs> my back hurt, too. So don't say it like that, because that's not true. My husband said something made me cry. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah. My husband and I were at the gym, and something was said, or I didn't want to do something, and blah, blah, whatever. I <laughs> got very emotional for out of nowhere, and it was just, like, cryy. Like, put myself in the corner and cried. <laughs> And then I was like laughing, crying, because he was like, all right, Heather, you're, you're kind of like drawing attention to yourself. Like, can you come back over here? Like, let's finish what we're doing. Being really nice about it, trying to be understanding, but hey, can you not draw attention to yourself? And I'm like, with my head in the corner, 
in my sweatshirt wiping tears and I'm like do oh, I can't make it stop like it just won't stop like I'm trying to stop but it, I can't stop yeah that was crazy it eventually did stop like he made me laugh and we moved on and finished our workout that was an experience so things we did this week I purchased a good amount of maternity clothing I ordered online so I haven't received it all yet but they had a great sale on just like v-neck t-shirts with the ruching on the side for like ten dollars each and then really comfortable Comfy pants like sleepwear or change into it after work kind of pants and then shorts also I can't wait to get them and then you know along with the couple things that I got when we were at the bye bye baby registering I think I have a good little amount of of clothing I'm still gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do with my pants it's gonna be hot at that point and my shorts are kind of I think they're a little roomier they're not like super tight shorts so I may be able to get away with that, the hair tie trick, and a belly band. And if I can do that and not have to buy any maternity bottoms, then I'll definitely try that. But my brain is telling me that I'll probably have to invest in at least like one pair of shorts and a pair of jeans or something like that with the band or the stretchiness on the side. So we'll see when that time comes. I'm not going to rush and get anything now and like wait to grow into it. We had another OB appointment this week. I think that is our, I think it's our third OB appointment. So, and the, that's the appointment where you go, you talk to the midwife or the doctor, whoever you're seeing, they do the fetal Doppler on your stomach and they're not measuring the height yet from like your, from your pubic bone to the top of your uterus yet, but they do kind of like feel around for your uterus and make sure that it's at the correct height. So this week I was 19 weeks, so it should be like a finger distance below my belly button and that's exactly where it was. Looks like we're on track there. And then they ask you if you have any questions. Some of them were concerns from my husband about, you know, poking and prodding the baby to make, you know, make him move and then sticking my belly out far, like, is it gonna hurt the baby? And her answer for both of those questions was, no, there's plenty of cushioning in your uterus, your baby is well protected, and obviously nothing like sports contact or, or like, you know, punching or hitting really hard, like, you don't wanna do that to your belly, but the poking and the bopping around and putting lotion on your belly, like, that's not gonna cause any harm. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep teasing him. I'll be like, hey, in there. Can you kick for me? Teasing me is what you're doing. No, I'm teasing the baby. So I talked about this earlier with the symptoms, but saw the chiropractor for the first time. That was exciting. The fact that she was able to fit me in on a Friday, awesome, and can't wait to follow up with her. Feeling relief already. After our OB appointment, we scheduled for our anatomy scan, which is our halfway ultrasound, which we'll just kind of, we'll see the baby again. It's kind of like, oh my God, we, we met him before and we're gonna like, re-meet him again and hopefully see like a lot of development in all the right places and everything just perfectly formed and you know just praying for the best of everything when we go to this scan. I'm just, I get excited because you feel the movement now and you're gonna, maybe I'll learn like where he's positioned in my belly also. I'm gonna look up questions probably before we go to that appointment on Tuesday, um, which is a couple days from now, and just kind of, just, just kind of like be on the same page as the ultrasound tech. I know that they will kind of explain things to me, but I'd like to have questions ready like, oh, so how's this look? How's that look? Is there enough fluid? Is the baby's head formed well? Or the brain look good? And how's the heart look? Like all those little questions. Is he sizing correctly for 20 weeks? Very exciting. And if we didn't know the gender already, this would be the time where we found out if it's a P or a V. So hopefully we see a little pee pee in there. <laughs> He's not like legs crossed hiding it. <laughs> we also met up with friends this week and they gave us a bunch of hand-me-downs, like big items, like a pack and play, a rock and play, a couple jumpy, jumpy uh, toys. I don't know what you really call them, like a, like a jump around thing with all the, all the toys and spinny things around them. Um, very colorful. A high chair and a stroller, a bunch of Dr. Brown bottles and other like little hand-me-down clothes and stuff like that. So that's a nice like little jump start to our collection of baby things. Considering that, you know, my parents live like five minutes down the road. His mother has some baby stuff at her house already. But the fact that my parents like this is their first grandchild, things like that are great. Like a pack and play, like 
put it over there and then we won't have to like lug it all around when we go to visit them because we plan to you know visit our both of our parents equally and a lot throughout the pregnancy and I think they would enjoy to have that stuff there especially if we you know have them babysit so very thankful for hand-me-downs and we are definitely all about them baby things are expensive and there's a lot that you need. And what's also about getting like the doubles for your in-laws and, and all of that too is that things are really expensive and, and the baby only is in some of the things for about, you know, two to three months and then you don't use it anymore. So to be able to save there and get it as a hand-me-down when it's in perfectly fine condition is awesome. What's comforting to me this week? Definitely um, feeling the kicks of my baby now is so comforting and to the point where I don't even feel the urge anymore to use that fetal Doppler that we have where you can listen to the heartbeat because it's like he's moving, he's kicking, he's there. Like things are good. That wouldn't be happening if anything was bad. So that's my like reassurance that, hey mom, I'm doing good down here. And I know that you're not supposed to use the fetal Doppler that much anyway. So hope we're past the point of, you know, even wanting or feeling to use that because hopefully the kicks will be pretty consistent from now on out. Another thing is definitely massaging my belly with oil to feel the kicks. I've learned that oil is my favorite thing to use. We have I've been using the cocoa butter oil. It's it was like that set that I got and it came with a massage cream, a massage lotion, a body butter, an oil and the oil is the best. If you have any oil suggestions that of one that you use that you really love, please let me know because I'm, I'm definitely running out of mine and I'd like to, you know, see what other ones are out there. So put that in the comment section below so I can check out and, you know, try other things. But the oil is awesome and it's not like greasy oil. It, it actually absorbs into your skin. It has a nice scent and it doesn't leave you feeling like you just put extra virgin olive oil all over yourself. And it's, it's good to like push your belly back and forth and be like, wake up. <laughs> Thoughts and questions I have. I had a lot of questions that I asked at the OB. It's like breast pump, when do you get that? When do we start talking about that? When do we start talking about like um, classes, like Lamaze classes or like, you know, partner classes, hospital tour, when does that all happen? It was kind of like quick answers, like not yet, weeks from now, maybe around like 28 weeks or, you know, when, you, when you're further along in your pregnancy. Other thought is if my back pain will go away after pregnancy, I am hoping that it's just a pregnancy thing like the pressure of my uterus and everything and, and all that hopefully once I deliver the baby and things start going back to normal all of that compression and like nerve pain zings will kind of like level out and shift back into its normal places along with the help of a chiropractor. But I also don't want to go to the chiropractor for the rest of my life. So of course, things I'm looking forward to, the anatomy scan on Tuesday, which is a couple days from now, followed right up by the chiropractor. I have my anatomy scan at two o'clock and my chiropractor right around the corner at three o'clock. So those are two things that I'm really looking forward to this week. So things I'm nervous or scared about, not really either of those, but just anxious about our anatomy scan that's coming up. Just hoping that everything is well and nothing's wrong. I mean, we had our genetics testing and everything showed to be perfect for that, but who knows what they can find on this anatomy scan and I'm just eager to find out that everything is still A-OK. -okay. So that wraps up week 19, on to week 20, on to week halfway there. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and also hit that little bell so that you get weekly updates of when I post my videos. Now let's take a look at how my bump is progressing. I just want to show you this sign that I made. This is because at the end of week 19 is week 20, so I'm day one of week 20, and this is my little sign. Check out my Instagram if you want to follow my weekly update photos. Halfway there. A couple things that my husband and I are bopping heads about is cribs. I don't know why that is such a hard decision, but we did settle on white. Just the actual crib is just a hard thing to settle on. And artwork in the room. Because he wants a jail cell and no. I want I want the a Scandinavian nice clean contemporary look. A jail cell. And I want the cute one that has like a headboard looking back to it that is not open. So 
I'm allowed to think that. And he wants like really hard black and white artwork and I just don't see that as being baby. Like I'm thinking more watercolor and soft, playful, mm -mm. cute. Yeah. No. Yeah. Nope. We'll see. I'm the boss. I'm the boss lady. <laughs> but we agree on colors. Black, white. White, navy. Black, white, gray. White, navy, gray, brownish. No, not brownish. Tan. R raw wood. Whatever. Pine, raw wood, black, white, navy with a touch of gray. So this is my belly for week 19, first day of week 20. That means we're halfway through pregnancy. And this is all I got to show for it. No, I... I see him popping. I think my belly might be bigger than my butt now.